his normal ways. They found him on the cut like a Band-Aid. It is Barry even in the score. Milivojevic, clear lane, and he will lay something up top to Barry. Making the move onto Pizza, whistle on the way up. And Kenyon Barry, son of NBA Hall of Famer, an all-time great Rick Barry, up to the free throw line. I, I have to mention that throughout the day several times because new viewers join us from time to time. If you're a longtime NBA fan, you certainly remember the playing days of Rick Barry, and you've seen that free throw form before. That's the first free throw Barry has missed in the entire tournament. Meantime, Dylan Travis playing some good defense, but sometimes it's just a case of better offense, and that's exactly what we saw from the Gladiator. Three one start, Partizan. Miami, winners of the recent Quebec Challenger. Jimmer Crosting couldn't finish it. That's because he was fouled. But look again at the contact at the rim. For that MVP in the Quebec Challenger, where he averaged a uh, an impressive 10 points per game. Shot at 46% from deep. He's money at the line. 3-2 game, minute in to the semifinal. Kyle Montgomery, AKA the voice is in your ear. Maddox, he'll clear it himself. The world champion, oh he's driving over people. That made some pizza road kill. Oh there's a travel. Got to watch those feet. So Miami, your number one seed. Favorite to get it done. Partisan trying to upset the party. Jimmer with the quick move. Step back, swings it left. Barry gives it up to Maddox. Maddox runs into some tough defense from Tupizza. He says, you got the wrong flavor, Scoop. Tupizza with the strong defense. And a 3-3 contest. The Gladiator puts on the brakes. Will swing it left. The Dragon pulls up. That J is still fire. Barry had position, but they didn't rotate it to him. Check the rotation on that two-piece from the Madman. Maddox has been able to connect. I don't know why teams are not respecting his ability to shoot from long range. It looks like something they've been willing to live with, but Maddox is, is shooting better than 40% from the two-point arc right now. And a 5-4 game and another travel. Point of emphasis this year. They're really keeping an eye on players when they move their pivot foot. And Lily Vojevic probably should be careful not to get a warning here. Even though he didn't like the call. And I shorted Maddox. He's actually 60% from deep. Nuke Berry on the drive. Gets to the baseline. Oh, go away. Technical foul on White. Torbica gets one from the bench. So apparently they did get a warning for talking too much with the officials. And Torbica... It's going to cost his team when he wasn't even on the court. And now he's hearing it from his teammates. Jimmer, soft like Terry call. He knocks it down for the charity strike. A one possession lead for Miami. Two point game, two minutes in. Milivojevic trying to find the cutting Supizza. Got a whistle, though, as Miami will pick up a second foul. Seven fouls, as you know, put you in the penalty. They're going to find Super Supizza. He's jumping like a Mario brother out here. 
Elevates with that big frame. Maddox, no, gets it back. The madman, oh, he yammed on him. He said, I didn't like the movie Gladiator anyway. Well, Maddox elevates and smashes. Look at the, the effort and the intensity. Two hands for safety. Kareem Maddox, the world champion and the most tenured member of this Miami team, will extend their lead to three points. A5 contest, single elimination action. Again, win in advance, lose, and go home. Nobody going home empty-handed, however. Top four get paid. The Dragon trying to get tricky with it. Jimmer Fredette playing the passing lanes. Gladiator, no FaceTime that time. Loose ball, Jimmer cannot save it. So possession over to Partizan. Dragon, oh man, just lost it. Jimmer, Cross gives it up, wants it back. Jimmer, trying to spin free. I'm not sure what Dylan Travis was trying to do there. That would have been an exquisite tip. For that, we'll get it clear. Oh, look, Ma, one hand. The real deal with the feel on the baseline. 9-5. The Gladiator cannot stroke it from deep. Off the iron it goes. Oh, for that. Easy work. So Miami giving it to Partizan here to the first three and a half minutes. Miami will pick up a third foul that stops the clock and sends us to a media timeout. 6.38 left and Miami setting the pace in this semifinal. They were the only, they were one of two teams in 2023 uh, to win multiple Masters. So trying to find a way to get their second Masters win already here in 2024 would be a heck of a start for the Americans, that's for sure. Oh, Bogdan, Dragovic, oh, with the moves. He did not share the choreography with Miami. Had him lost. Two possession lead still for the MIA boys. Still in Travis, hands it over to Fredette. Fredette, ISO game. Ain't nothing over there for you. He couldn't finish it off. Beautiful move. And that's out of bounds. Jimmer claiming. Claiming that should be yellow ball. And I think he is going to uh, win that. Last year's Edmonton Masters winner, Uguishan N.E., not here. Neither is Amsterdam. Those two just played it for the Freeborg Challenger final. Ooh, winning that. So Miami, here is the number one seed. Barry, thinking about the two. Oh, he decides to drop off the package. It is delivered by the Madman. So Maddox has been active. Big part of this uh, this five point lead for Miami. Standing six foot eight. His defensive prowess has been noted. But he's a player that can be featured within his offense as well. Take some of the pressure off of Jimmer scoring. Eight time, it's the Gladiator. Nope, front iron. Maddox has the Wilson in hand. Swung over to Barry quickly. Over to 
So the real deal that time, Maddox will miss the layup badly. Gladiator wants a screen, left the defense in his rear view mirror, but he blew the crib. He's got to shake that off. Got to have a short memory in 3x3. No time to dwell on anything. Up top they go to Barry. And they cannot connect. Now the dragon, oh, he tried to sham Barry. He was not buying whatever Bogdan was selling. He said, I'd seen that move before. But, oh, he tried to sham. Great defense there from Barry. So Canyon Barry sticking with him like a core memory. They'll get a rest. Billy Voyevich stepping back. Wait a minute, we got a whistle, an offensive foul. And we are midway through this 10-minute sprint. They find Maddox. Oh, he's met by Subica. He gets a whistle. Uh-oh, and Parkinson is going to get hit with another technical. They, uh, they were not happy about the call. And be a judge for yourself. There was, there was contact, but who initiated that contact? That's the question. And I think that's what Partizan's argument is. You could see the off arm of Maddox connected with the, uh, with the diaphragm, I guess you could say, of Supitza. Jimmer will uh, handle his business at the free throw line and continues to add to this lead. That's the technical free throw. Now the two free throws as a result of that seventh partisan foul. That seventh foul, by the way, that puts them in the penalty. Okay, well, a one free throw. Okay, so listen. The, the shooting foul was the sixth. The technical foul was the seventh. Now that's why Maddox is going to shoot one free throw. Glad to get that clarification. So now that that's clear, it looks pretty clear who's, uh, who's likely to win this game. Unless there's an improbable comeback. Oh man, another technical foul. So it goes from bad to worse for Partizan. A technical foul called for flopping. That's on Dragovich. And you'll see that whistle often when an offensive player tries to sell a foul to the officials by you know, overtly kicking out a leg to try to draw attention. Instead, it only draws a technical. So the lead continues to swell up like a beer belly. As Miami keep on knocking down shots like it's happy hour. There's a double shot from Jimmer. 16-6, 10 point game. And another technical on party sign. They, they have completely lost their composure. This train is off the track. They've been frustrated. Obviously, with nine fouls, they've been hacking like computer nerds. And they're looking at a, a, a blowout win, a blowout loss, rather. Four thirty-one to go, and I would be shocked if this goes the, the distance. Miami and Partizan have had some battles. They played in the Abu Dhabi final in 2023. A Miami win up top to Sapitza. They will corral it and score, but again, it's a 10-point game. Barry. Decides to give it to Maddox. Maddox driving. Man, six foot eight man move. So pizza, great positioning. He scores it past Barry. But Miami are happy to trade buckets the rest of the way. All they need is three. The name of the game, 
scoring 21 points. First of 21 wins it. Around comes Jimmer. Jimmer, ball fake. Jimmer, scoop de do no go. The gladiator, he's got the talent to make some noise, but he has been offline indeed. Dylan Travis, oh, he was on his way to the bucket, and that, that's the equivalent of what you would, what you know as a uh, clear path foul in, in five on five. But uh, deliberate foul to prevent what was going to be a wide open layup. That means it's a technical and unsportsmanlike foul. So a rough one indeed for Partizan. Things have not gone, uh, gone their way pretty much across the board. They have not shot it well. They've been frustrated by some calls that they thought should have been different, and they've let that frustration boil over which has led to several technical fouls and Miami back at the line again. Two shots and possession, by the way. Oh, these goals ain't loyal. The real deal misses the second, but, the, but again. Maddox handling the ball. Ooh, crossover, pull up, nope. Jimmer though, right place, right time. What is Jimmer grinning about? Why is he grinning? Maybe, uh-oh, yep, offensive foul. Yep, no argument from Jimmer there. He did drop the shoulder. Nineteen to eight. And Livojevic, crossover. The gladiator whips it out. Torpizza gets a good look from two. Now Barry. He is very good, especially on the drive. Milivojevic, maybe the toughest two he's taken. He makes that one. Has missed some of the other open looks. Jimmer, G-A-M-E, thanks for playing. Another blowout for Miami. They are back in the final as they hardly broke a sweat in an 11-point W over Partizan, who unfortunately let their frustrations affect uh, their game here. So Partizan will not leave empty-handed.